Hello and welcome back to another episode of HVAC system design uh, tutorial uh, with the channel of the World of Building Design. And my name is Babak, your host. In this tutorial, I would like to talk with you with uh, one of the very beneficial software that you can use for um, duct sizing calculation. So if you remember, uh, we have talked uh, about the hydronic system uh, sizing and calculation. Now we're going to focus a little bit on the duct sizing. And um, if you know from the previous tutorial, we mentioned that there are a variety of the tools and techniques to do the um, duct calculation. Uh, you can refer to the ASHRAE standard and look into the ASHRAE um, tables and charts to conduct this calculation, or you can take advantage of the software that are available on the market. So in this tutorial, I want to introduce to you one of this very beneficial software that I have used myself for doc sizing. So uh, remember that we talked about Daikin Applied or Daikin uh, uh, company, which is a major manufacturer of the HVAC system equipments. They also manufacture uh, different type of uh, sizing softwares. And uh, uh, looking into looking into some of their softwares, uh, but with the focus of today agenda, uh, we're gonna focus on the dock sizing software of this uh, manufacturer, uh, which is uh, initially called McQuay. Um, uh, company which is um, which is obtained by Daikin Applied and uh, the software initially called McQuay um, you know dot calculation so there are other calculation software with uh, Daikin Applied uh, where you can download and use to your advantage for your projects you can do the dot sizing or pipe sizing you can do the psychrometric analyze and um, there are softwares related to the acoustic analysis of different systems in terms of their their sound uh, you know sound level in the vicinity of the installation location and there are other guides that uh, that are also there that you can use so uh, for you to be able to download this software i can refer you to this um, a link uh, the link is in here and I have put this in the description below in the, this video. If you scroll down into the description of this tutorial, you can, you can see that uh, link. You can just go there and directly download. Uh, I can show you how this takes place. So when you get into that website that I provided the link for, you can come to this site directly. And then on the bottom of this site, where is the Daikin uh, daikinapplied.com resources slash resources slash design hyphen software hyphen tools on the bottom you encounter with this uh, different software and on the right hand side the doc size you just click on that and then on the bottom as you can see um, you can download this software and uh, then you have to just install the software on your computer once installed you can also, as you can see, you can also create, uh, you can pin this software into your uh, desktop and take advantage of it. Anytime you want to open it, you can open the software and, and use it. So once you downloaded the software, you would see uh, the software opens up in such format uh, just to be giving you very high level introduction of the software and uh, what information is provided. Basically, there are multiple tabs in here and you have to determine your, um, you know, the air condition basically under which the, uh, the, you're, you're running the calculation for. There are air at different temperature, relative humidity you have to select and then uh, this basically gives you the um, air um, condition or air um, characteristic or property in terms of its density, viscosity, a specific heat, and the energy factor. Then the other parameters that are here is uh, basically, first of all, let me tell you that you can use both uh, a US standard uh, for, for imperial 
standard for the calculation or you can change it to SI unit as well or metric unit. Um, so the important factors here are the CFM or cubic feet per minute of air uh, and also the head loss in terms of uh, inch of water column per 100 feet and then the velocity of the air inside your duct conduit in terms of feet per minute and then you have equivalent diameter, which is a circular duct uh, type. So uh, if you activate that, you can provide the circular duct capacity or the size. And then the other duct size is the um, height and the width of the duct for a non-circular duct type, if you have a uh, rectangular shaped ductwork. And basically, once you put two of the parameters in this uh, blank uh, areas of the software, the, the software automatically calculates for you other parameters such as equivalent diameter, uh, flow area, fluid, uh, fluid velocity. Fluid means the air in this case, because always uh, we're focusing on the air property. It gives you the Reynolds number, friction factor, velocity pressure, and head loss. This is the very simple way of you to size your dock work and understand the other parameters uh, based on the uh, known two parameters. So once you download the software, I can, I'm going to open the software to show you how this works. Uh, so I have uh, linked it into the bottom of my uh, desktop. In here, I'm going to double click and I'm going to have this opened up. So I'm going to bring it into here. Just going to turn this down. So as you can see, I have opened the software. As I mentioned, you can select from different air condition. If you have um, designing for an air at 75 degree Fahrenheit, at 50% relative humidity, and one atmospheric pressure. So I'm going to keep it as this. And uh, I'm not going to change anything. Let's take off all this information from here and then run through a tentative scenario. So if you have, uh, say, 5,000 CFM of air, I just input 5,000 CFM in here. And then you have an option to either put the limitation you would have, either your head loss limitation you want or you want to limit the velocity. If I want to limit my velocity to 500 feet per minute. Uh, I can just simply put 500 in here. And then as you can see, immediately the other uh, parameters are calculated in the below. So what it says to you is that equivalent diameter is 42.8, almost 43 inch of the uh, diameter of your round duct. So if you then this means that if you want to run 5,000 CFM airflow through a duct or circular duct work at 500 feet per minute of velocity, your minimum circular duct uh, diameter should be 42.8 inch. So that's basically what it gives you. At 42.8, 500.5 feet per minute would be your velocity. And then it also gives you the head loss in the red color in here. Your head loss of the air would be 0 0.008 inch of water column per 100 feet. So it means that uh, at 100 feet of uh, circular duct at the size of 42.8, you would have 0 0.008 inch of water column pressure drop across your duct work. So now if I change my dock fork size, I can just go back on the top and just put the same number 4,000, 5,000. And then on the bottom, I want to put a dock size myself. So when I'm sizing a dock fork for, uh, you know, for equivalent uh, uh, friction loss uh, method, I want to make sure that my um, head loss is not beyond 0 0.008. So let's put a duct size, rectangular duct size in here. So if I put, say, 42 inch duct by uh, 
28, you would immediately see the velocity, fluid velocity, and then you would know if this dock size is uh, respecting your velocity requirement. For our case, we wanted to have 500 feet per minute. So if you see that this is higher than 500 uh, feet per minute, which is in this case 659, I can adjust my dock size. I'm going to increase my dock size to 32 and then double check my velocity. So my velocity is now 573. So there are a little bit of trial and error we can apply. And at 34, I can see my dock size, my uh, velocity is, is decreasing as I increase the dock size. So I'm going to go to 36. And as you can see, I'm much closer to fluid velocity of 508. I'm going to go to 38. And as you can see, as my velocity decreases, also my head loss decreases as well in here. So basically, you can size your duct for, for limited velocity that you have in mind for your design strategy and also for the head loss you have in mind. And you can size your dock work very easily through the software. In the next tutorial, we can go through an example of dock sizing with this tool, this software. Please get ready for that. Please install the software and uh, um, you know, pin it into your computer desktop. Get it ready for the next tutorial where we go through an example for uh, uh, dock sizing with this tool. Uh, in the next tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed for this channel of the World of Building Design, I encourage you to go ahead and subscribe and uh, light up the like button by also pushing the notification uh, bell. You can see the new tutorial as soon as they are posted. Thank you for watching.